When I first looked at this problem, I thought to myself, no big deal. This shouldn't be a problem at all. Hey, we, all we have is a natural log of 5x plus 3. Do a little bit of substituting. I'll make this my u, substitute in, and maybe a little bit of rearranging, but it's not going to be that bad. But then I thought to myself, what's the antiderivative of natural log of x? And we really don't have a nice answer for that. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to have to use integration by parts. So let's jump right in here. Let's pick out a value for u and a value for dv. All right, the formula for integration by parts is over on the right-hand side. So because we have a natural log involved here, we tend to want to pick that to be our u value. So we have the natural log of 5x plus 3 is going to work for our value of u. And don't be deceived, this one actually has quite a bit going on uh, that you may not have thought about. So if we've made all of this be our u, all we're left with is dx for being our dv. All right, for integration by parts, how this is gonna work is we're gonna take the derivative of the u, so we get a du over here, and the derivative of natural log of 5x plus three, well, we're gonna use the chain rule. All right, so it's the natural log. The derivative is one over 5x plus three, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of that inner function, so we multiply by five, and then this is dx after all, all right? On the opposite side of this, we want to take the antiderivative of dv and dx. So that just works out being v equals x. Okay, so now as we get plugging in, hopefully this won't be too bad, but it's not an easy problem by any means. All right, so we're going to replace the u with natural log of 5x plus 3. We're going to replace the v with an x from that, this bottom equation over here. And then we subtract away the integral of, again, pl plug in, replace v with x. And then we have this du. We want to plug in with that with 5 over 5x plus 3. All right, so 5 over 5x plus 3. And I guess we do have a dx with that as well. I went ahead and put this 5 up in the numerator. OK, so. Are we any better off? Yes and no. Okay, first of all, I'm just copying down this first part, the u times v. Let's think about this integral where we have 5x divided by 5x plus 3. dx. All right, as we're thinking about this, there's not a super easy way to do this in its current form. However, we have a rational function here. This really means just a fraction divided by another, or uh, a, ra a polynomial divided by another polynomial. So what I'm going to do is off to the side here, I'm going to actually work this out. This means 5x maybe plus 0 divided by 5x plus 3. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work a long division problem with this one. All right, so for long division, what we always do is we focus on these first terms. We say 5x and 5x. Everything's in descending order, so it's going to work out pretty nicely. And I put a 0 basically as a placeholder for the constant. So I think to myself, 5x times what? We'll go in the quotient. We'll give us 5x. And we pretty easily get 1. And then with long division, we distribute whatever we put in the quotient. So 5x plus 3, it's going to be multiplied by each of those terms in the divisor. And this is the important key. We're going to subtract down. So that negative needs to be distributed to both of these, basically. So we have 5x minus 5x. No big deal. That's going to be 0x's. But then we also have to remember it's 0 minus a 3. So 0 minus 3 is going to be negative 3. All right. So we can, we can rewrite 5 x divided by 5x plus 3 as the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. And I know mine doesn't look like plus the remainder of the over the divisor, but what I did was I used my negative 3 and I moved that negative out in front. So 1 was our quotient plus a negative 3 divided by 5x plus 3. So now over on the right hand side, we can just copy down that first part again, but we can rewrite what's on the inside here. That can be rewritten as 1 
minus three over five X plus three dx. And as we're trying to integrate this, we can kind of take it one step at a time. We can put a separate integral with the one and a separate integral with uh, this fraction that remains. So it shouldn't be awful, but let's give it a shot. All right, so natural log, all this first part just comes along. We're not gonna do anything more with that, but I'm gonna go integrating one dx and then this double negative as we distribute the negative from out in front to this negative in the middle, those double negatives are gonna make an addition of the integral. I'm gonna move the three out in front of one over five X plus three dx. All right, almost there, I promise. This will be easy to integrate. That's just gonna give us an X. This is going to be slightly more difficult, but it shouldn't be too bad either. And again, we just bring along a lot of this is kind of carrying around the work you already did. So that, like I said, antiderivative of one is going to be X, but this we're going to have to do plus three and we're going to do a U substitution um, to be able to integrate this. Um, I'm going to make this denominator our U or I would make it U except for we already use U in this problem. So in lieu of repeating ourselves there, let's make it W. So we got to use substitution on this uh, problem as well. And then we take the derivative, right? So DW, one DW is five DX on this side. Well, we have a DX to replace in, but we don't have a five. So let's move that five to the other side. All right, so we're at the point where we have one over, we're gonna replace the denominator with a W and we can replace the DX with one fifth DW. Well, we'll put the DW at the end, but I tend to put the one fifth the constant out in front. All right, let's finish this up. Bring along a bunch of stuff. Try to write it quickly. This three fifths will be hanging out in front and the antiderivative of one over W is gonna be the natural log of the absolute value of W with a plus C here because it was an indefinite inter integral. And very last step, and we are almost there, I promise. Instead of having W involved here, we wanna replace W with five X plus three. Back from that let statement, still plus C hanging out at the end. And there is how we do a pretty difficult problem where we couldn't use substitution. Like if we're taking a look up here or at this point. Um, so you have to kind of do a long division off to the side to be able to rewrite this. So it's something um, more palatable, I guess is a good way to put it. So I hope this helps. Um, these take a lot of practice, but picking the correct U and the correct DV from the beginning goes a whole long ways to making these a little bit easier. Get your formula down, keep practicing, good luck.